lost for words? Well, it's time to play that wacky, zany vocabulary builder. Word up. Okay, this is the game we play where uh, we've got a, uh, a definition of a word, or actually three definitions of, of one word. One of the definitions is correct, the other two are absolute and utter... Uh, uh, bullshit! Oh, excuse me. Uh, and uh, we get a punter on the line to try and guess the correct meaning. And our lucky man this morning is Danny Haynes from East Geelong. How you doing, Danny? Very well, thank God. How are you? Okay. We're just cruising here. Now, the word... Oh, well, I suppose we better say hello to Chuck, uh, we say? Yes, good morning. Chuck Testosterone, do you have a word for us today? Oh, good morning, David. Hello, Roxanne, honey. D- uh, Chuck. Wayne Wright. Yeah. <laughs> Before I continue this morning, David, I just want to say I was watching you uh, flying that plane the other day, yeah. doing those loop the loops over Geelong. <laughs> yeah. I thought that boy has more balls than Peter Toy. <laughs> <laughs> balls, because really, believe Chuck. me, you were really. Chuck. Yeah. Chuck. What, Carol? What is it? Chuck. Every day you get more and more and more verbose. Verbose. Huh? <laughs> yes, you were supposed to do a word, a word every morning, and you just go on and on and on. Do the word and Ooh. shut up. Ooh, well, Carol, I was strike. only just uh, talking to the guy. I don't care what you're doing. Just listen to me. <laughs> Look, I, 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 just because you don't have any friends, Jack, you are on your last warning. Have you got me testosterone? That is it. No more. <laughs> well, seeing as you put it like that... Uh, Today's word up word is uh, cromniomancy. Cromniomancy. C R O M N Y O M E N C Y. Cromniomancy. I think. Uh, sorry? What was the word again? Sorry? Cro- <laughs> uh, uh, cromniomancy. 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 Um, cromniomancy is indeed uh, telling someone's age. Sorry, not someone's age. Telling a tree's age by counting its rings. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, That's fascinating. From the Mancy. You can tell, you know, how you tell. You... It's a load of bollocks, but it's fascinating. Well, the, no, the only thing you can tell a tree's age by oh, yes, counting its rings. But the only problem is. It's from the Mancy. It is. The only problem is, though, is that if, if you want to find out how old a tree was by counting its rings, you actually have to kill the tree to do it by chopping it down <laughs> so you could count its rings. So yeah. chromiomancy is a bit and of a strange... Say, no, it's not actually old enough to chop down yet. Don't! Don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually uh, not that. It's fortune-telling by counting the rings of onions. It's fortune-telling with the onion itself. Okay. Well, I think you're both absolutely full of it. <laughs> Chromniomancy is, in fact, it is to do with telling the age, but it's um, the ability in an autopsy to tell the age of a person whose age is unknown by taking um, samples from the bone. So even... So it's sort of like counting the rings on the bone. Oh, well, sort of, yeah. But it's... Um, <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, they can actually do it like um, archaeologists can do it with bones that are found. Carbon dating. Carbon dating, but it's a little bit different. It's actually... <laughs> it's to do... Enough it's of a, the in the autopsy. In the now. Oh, Danny, you get the idea, don't you? I, I can't go idea. on. Okay, Danny, well, you've got three definitions there. Well, I wouldn't have a clue, so I'm going to go to Roxanne's the last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chuck... What's the real meaning of the word? Well, the correct dictionary definition of cromniomancy, if I am in fact allowed to do it, Carol. Chuck, that's what you're here for. That's all we are. <laughs> right, it's the uh, fortune telling with onions. Oh, oh Danny. Oh, I've never heard of it before. No, no. <laughs> you never ever hear of it again. <laughs>